Hello everyone, my name is Legend Ronnie and this game is Rise of Kingdoms and today we have beginner's guide in Ark of Osiris. I had a couple of requests quite for a while to actually do a beginner's guide in Ark of Osiris. So here it is, I want to give some tips and advices especially for, for new players or very new players that are actually going into the Ark of Osiris. Either you know what you're doing, either you don't know what you're doing, I'm pretty sure there is something you can take from this video because I want to help as many players as I can regarding this. So the first thing first that everyone probably cares about the Ark of Osiris is mostly the rewards, right? So when you go to the rewards, you're noticing over here, it says members of the winning alliance will receive the following additional rewards. So if you manage to get your individual score 10,000 plus, this is about the rewards you can get plus a couple more extra for registration. And then it's the all members in the winning alliance that will get all that as well so there's a lot of uh, benefits if you're actually winning or your alliance is actually winning Ark of Osiris so pretty much this is what everyone is interesting in the first thing because even if you lose you still get some decent amount of reward so this is why players actually participate in Ark of Osiris 10,000 individual score now the next thing that you want to care about is this one so Pretty much all the information that you need, you have it at hand over here. It's all written. So you're not the thing when you go on the other, you have the scoring because that's what actually matters the most. And before I'm going to show you the scoring, I'm just going to show you some standing, which is literally our last arc of Osiris. I'm not sure if you're noticing, but it's 1000 points difference. So this is the Alliance scoring, the scoring that you see over here. This is the Alliance scoring. So we literally won by 1000 points difference or a little bit less over 1000 points, meaning that each and every point or each and every move that you do in the Ark of Osiris yourself will matter a lot for your Alliance winning. Now going back into the rules onto the other is exactly like I was showing. So you're noticing here is the Ark of Osiris. You have the structures and then you have the caravans and the kills. Now I'm going to name the first three important. So the first important one is your buildings. Now your buildings is the altar, the outpost, the shrines, the obelisk. The second most important thing is the Ark of Osiris. The reason I'm saying the buildings are important is because if you don't have your buildings, you can't even teleport. Why should you even bother about Ark of Osiris? If you don't have any building, you can't even carry the Ark of Osiris. So having the buildings is the number one important securing them, holding them, keeping them reinforced. That's very important to keep them, to keep your buildings. Then the second thing is the Ark of Osiris. Now the Ark of Osiris timer is always on your left. So you can always check the time when the Ark of Osiris is about to spawn. My recommendation is then with about four or five minutes, you start mobilizing. Your marchers take time to actually get into the middle, depending on your mobility or depending on the commanders that you use. So you want to make sure you get there in time because when it's usually one, two minutes until it spawns, that's when the battle actually starts for it. So you want to make sure that you're there in time because you're noticing the amount of Alliance core the Ark of Osiris gives. So that's 3000 points that you probably don't want to miss. The first one is 3000. The second one is 3500 the third one is 4000 and sometimes you can even get to the fourth one which is 4500 one more important thing before you even get in the ark of osiris is the alliance skill so this actually work in the ark of osiris my advice is using umbridal progress this is the one that we uh, use the most in ark of osiris because mobility is somehow the most important thing so you can actually get there in time uh, your marches retreat faster once they get smashed or if you just want to retreat them so you can actually move around much faster because arc is one hour game but the actually battle in arc of osiris is about 50 minutes or 51 52 minutes give or take but let's say 50 minutes so the game is one hour since you port in 
but your act the actual activity or the actual action is 50 minutes so you want to make sure the most and of that time so you want to make sure that you have the highest amount of capacity on the battlefield all the time so we always go with the march speed i find it the most efficient buff or the most efficient alliance skill to actually use in arc of osiris you also have option books and battles if you want to go with more attack or counter offensive if you want to go with more defense so going back to, to the rules like i was mentioning the buildings is very important and this is something that you need to check very very closely it's the alliance core which exactly what i showed you when i when uh when I went to our standings to and showed you our last win that it was 1000 difference, that's the alliance score and this is the individual score. This is the individual score that you actually care about reaching those 10,000 points that I just showed you for your rewards. So if you're really a beginner in the Ark of Osiris, I think the main concern probably for you would be to get the 10,000 individual score. But if you're reinforcing the buildings that get attacked, if you're uh, going to fight for the arc or escorting the arc you do get a lot of points but obviously to actually reach your 10,000 points the easiest way to do it is just feel battling because for every 10,000 power you demolish uh, you get a lot of points so field battles is literally the best way to actually just get your individual score high but what helps actually your alliance you're noticing over here on the alliance scoring that kills doesn't give anything so kills doesn't help at all your alliance so the more you just care about just going and field battling or if that's everything that you care about you're literally not helping at all your alliance now i was mentioning about the third point which is the provisions or the caravan uh, provisions which is this one so you're noticing that the alliance core that you get for level one caravan level two level three and your individual score so pretty much if you do like 30 level 3 caravans you're not just bringing 3000 points to the alliance but you're also making 9000 points yourself so that's pretty much getting you close to 10000 points by just farming the caravans obviously this is not going to win you the arc of osiris and it's just not going to work if all players are farming provisions but what can you do is you're probably going to run out of troops because this being a beginner's guide it's most likely helping a lot players that actually run out of troops in the Ark of Osiris and this happened. Most of the free to play low spenders they in the end run out of troops. I see a lot of players just going to fight with siege well that's horribly bad that's really really bad just going and fighting with siege rather just go and farm provisions you do have gatherers your gatherers are definitely upgraded to a certain level 37 or 40 so they are very very good at actually gathering just go and do caravans you're helping yourself and you're helping your alliance in the same time what we also do but this is pretty much for advanced players when you're guarding a building not garrisoning so when you're guarding a building because we have those kind of players that just pretty much sit put uh, next to some buildings to actually offer extra protection when rally comes and so on those players are trying to sit in a caravan so as long as there is caravans ar around they just sit in there and pretty much this is what all the players are trying to do when they are just waiting so instead of just keeping your marches and doing nothing if you're sitting in a caravan you're getting provisions the buildings like i mentioned it's very very important to keep them occupied even if your alliance did not do a proper strategy or just sign up 30 people for arc and they just send them in at least you can improve yourself as your player because you know a couple of things you know that holding the building is very important or if you're a rank four you can just put some marks fill the buildings with infantry fill the buildings with that you want to make sure that you put some garrison or you want to make sure that it's some proper commanders defending those buildings that will definitely help a lot because it gives continuous occupation score for your alliance so you want to make sure that you're also winning obviously the first thing is acquiring your 10,000 points but all, obviously the second thing that you care about is also winning in the same time there is also the, the skill system this is something more advanced and this is only uh, for rank fours pretty much the skills that always recommend is attack and defense 
then it's all obviously the mobility one then you have tear down valiant stand these are pretty much the most common uh, used one if you want to go something more advanced is the bog down but that's for arc desert storm as well uh, that's again only for arc divine aid this is very very important so you can teleport all your players around the obelisk this is very important divine aid this should be the first skill that you use this is the first skill that any alliance use in the arc of osiris because it grants you more teleports as long as the people are closer then they will be able to reinforce faster the buildings they will be able to refresh their master faster they will be able to assist further on arc of osiris you have the structures which is also very important to read all this stuff when it came out i read and i'm gonna show you one more thing that probably the majority of you did not click on it so you have over here the Ark of Osiris, probably nobody actually reads, nobody goes through it, it's just the time. But where it says go over here down, there is a question mark. So if you see that question mark, just click on it. And it is an extra tutorial regarding the Ark of Osiris. So this is where I actually got my first map regarding the Ark of Osiris. So you have it pretty much over here. Either you start at I set or either you start at set. You have your buildings, you have your obelisk, you have your outpost, you have the shrine of, of war, you have the shrine of life, and then you have the altars. Either is the desert or the sky altars. So pretty much if you split in half, this is those are the buildings that you want to keep. Then if you go and scroll on the right it shows you where the ark of osiris is it's right there in the middle it shows you when the shrine of life and shrine of war so you can pretty much have an idea about the buildings you know this is all the information that is available to you you have the outposts and if you go back there like uh, where I, I showed you the rules regarding the ark of osiris you can see further information regarding this building that i was just showing to you which that's the important one the points per minute because that's what can actually bring you the win you have the sky and the desert altar you have the obelisk and it also gives you more information that once you fully occupied an obelisk you get five teleports and then an occupying previously occupied obelisk will grant only two teleports chances and as long as you keep the obelisk occupied you know it generates more teleports then it says about the caravan which gives you provision the war camps when the countdown timer is zero the alliance with the most points will be declared the winner and will receive incredible rewards how about that so this is another very important place that you want to check about arc of osiris i also want to give you all a very nice map regarding the arc of osiris which is uh, created by sir launch a lot so i don't want to take credits i just found it on my discord as well so I obviously uh, took it and i'm also using it and you find it over here and it's also on the buildings is the points and buffs that the buildings actually actually give you you know it's a really small thing regarding dark of osiris and you can also use it to actually draw set up your teams tell people where to actually go and what to actually do it can actually help you a lot now if you have any questions regarding the arc of osiris you can definitely drop them in the comment section below and i'll definitely be happy to answer you i just wanted to make this as a beginner's guide to actually give you some tips and advices regarding to maybe get 10,000 points uh, go around the arc of osiris explain you a couple of things regarding the arc of osiris you know basic things that you actually need in the Ark of Osiris rather than just going and feel battling because that's not all about the Ark of Osiris. This is your boy Jerani signing off. Peace out yo and take care. Stay safe out there and I hope you find this helpful.